everyone. I literally just said to Marcus, I fancy vlogging today, and he's home, and I've got his camera, which is so good, but so big. Um, and we've just been on a walk with Jaffa. We went out, we were just going to do our usual route, and then we decided to go to the park, and then it decided to rain. Um, but then we popped to the co-op and then came back to have breakfast. And yeah, we're just gonna, I thought I just just felt the urge to vlog today because it's a Saturday and I've not got work, so nice. And yeah, to this, this afternoon we're going, well, late afternoon, we should be going to a beach. Is it a beach? I see my clothes in the background. A beach for dogs allowed, I'm guessing, um, with our friends because I feel like it's like a weekly thing now. We go dog walking with our friends and then they've got a daughter and um, she called Marcus yesterday um, saying that she's got a plan and I thought, well, yeah, definitely, that'll be really fun. I think we're going to meet there, leave here at half four or something or maybe a bit earlier because it's a bit of a further drive for us. I mean, I don't know where the nearest beach is in Stockport. Not too sure at all. Um, so that'd be quite fun. Hopefully that the rain stops because it's not raining, raining, but it's on and off and I'm hoping it's stops by this evening because uh, it'll be really fun um, if there's no rain and then we always get ice cream and to be honest I'm all there for the ice cream like every walk we do I'm like is there an ice cream place um but yeah so that's the plan today and then we are going to be sorting out the flat because we've got some stuff going on at the moment so I need to sort the flat out so I need to probably do that today and I thought I'd just take you along with me so hopefully it's not too boring and I hope you enjoy it so if you do make sure you subscribe and uh, let's just get on with the day I've noticed because it's like only just gone half ten and before having a dog we we wouldn't even see this time that makes us sound really lazy but we just would we'd probably be like I probably got up by now and got a tea and gone back to bed we wouldn't be up but because we have her and she eats at 7am she knows her time that she eats as well so she's there eyes looking at me like hello are you gonna get me some breakfast so by that time once I'm out the bed I'm I'm pretty much up I can go back I can I just go and sit in the bed but then I get like just get really flustered and just like I don't know what to do with myself so we took her on a walk at about about nine quarter past nine half nine it's good I think it's good to be up and ready at semi-decent time instead of wasting the day but yeah right I will we're gonna carry on watching Dexter that's what we've been watching at the moment we I've never seen Dexter I feel like I've been trapped in a, in a whole different world because apparently apparently everyone's seen Dexter but it's really good so we're on season one episode 10 and it's I'm actually really enjoying it so we're probably gonna watch that for a few more hours and then when I decide to get off my ass, <laughs> we'll uh go and I'll go and sort out, start sorting out the flat. So yeah, I'm going to spin you to Marcus. Oh no. Oh no, God. He doesn't like being... No, it's not that you don't like being on camera. Is it like the voice that when you hear okay, it back? Voice. But I do too, so in our head we think that we sound some way and then when I hear it back I'm like, oh, is that how I sound? Um, it's always disappointing but yeah I'm gonna stop recording I'm gonna chill for a bit and then I'll take you along on our day so shall we say hello to everyone say hello to everyone hello mm. we just did some training didn't we oh the bubs bubsy's tired she's tired you're tired we just did some training because we're trying to teach her to, I don't know, just sort of commands, but she's very stubborn, she's we've, very uh, we've noticed. Yeah, she's very young, she's what, she, three months, three and a half months? And um, honestly, she's brilliant, but we do like so many good things and then like, we like do revert back to old ways. I'm like, how is that even possible? But I think it's just consistency and I do think we're not as consistent as we need to be, so we need to work on that. But I wanted to pick up the camera again because um, my H&M order arrived. So my mum's getting married, which we've mentioned in a previous vlog. Well, the first one, actually the first one back. I'm so bloated. Um, 
and I need some like she's got multiple handos and I need some clothes so I've ordered some from H&M just to see if any if I like any half the time I order stuff and I just hate the way it looks on me and I'm sending it back and then not finding anything so I'm hoping some of the things that I picked up today look nice on me so I've got a few outfits for the hem weekends I think I've got like five handos so yeah I need five outfits so I picked up I've actually wanted to get my hands on this for a while but it's like a black dress it's just like a short dress and on people that I've seen this on they look so good but I'm really like I've got hips I have the hips and I don't know I, I think we all have securities but one of my securities are my hips I don't know why because I've always obviously had them but I've noticed as I've gotten older that they are they're there they are very much there um so <laughs> Jeff is like can I try it on so we're gonna see how that looks but it was it's really nice it, it's quite an inexpensive dress dress I think it's 15 pound um it's ribbed black so we'll try that on see if it looks good see how I feel when I look at myself in the mirror <laughs> and go from there so that's one and then the next thing was a blouse like this is going to be a love hate but I wanted to try it oh it's quite it's just small um I wanted to try it it's a blouse high collar but obviously I wouldn't have it done up all the way but I thought it was quite cute I need to remember to look, to look in the lens not where I can see myself but I thought it'd be quite cute even if it I thought even for one of the hems but also just work purposes um, when I'm in court and stuff I thought that was quite nice so I'll try that um, on see if I like it hopefully styled right it will look quite nice then oh this is cute this is we're, we're doing a bottomless brunch and I was hoping this would be cute for them because there's like there's three night outs like out out and then stop eating that and then there's um one bottom of this brunch well that's actually two and then there's like a spa and I thought this would be quite cute for the bottom of this brunch it's actually quite heavy duty that's quite good so it's a dress it's oh it's got lemons on it I love that and no I, I don't know it's it's very cute but I don't know if it's, I don't know, like I'm 29 now, so I don't know if I need to, I don't know, up my style a little bit to a bit, I don't know, like sometimes I think, am I still trapped in, in my 16 year old self's body? But I don't know, I'll try it on. It, it might be nice for summer as well, but it is quite heavy duty, which didn't, it weren't that expensive at all, so that's quite good. But we'll see how that looks. There's this cute little top, which I thought, again would be nice with like a skirt or trousers or jeans um not just for like these hand loops, but just for like going into like spring summer so it's a cute little top see how well it's like on i got everything in a small um hopefully it's nice they had a different color and i didn't really want it in white they had a, like a more of a floral pattern but it was out of stock so i thought i'd try it in white and see if I like it but yeah hopefully that will look cute I've got this top which I got last year and it's a top where I needed to wear definitely wear something underneath it because it was see-through I thought like I don't know what to wear anyway I found these um little vest tops I think it's from the sport range definitely from the sport range because of how they feel but I thought it'd be quite cute under this top that I have just a little vest um hopefully think it goes I have to try it on with the top but hopefully it does go because that's the only reason I got them for and I couldn't wear them on my own because my boobs are far too big Jaffa stop it come on this I've been really looking forward to I'm not really a blue person, um, blue. Um, but I saw a lot of people with this jacket and then it was like growing on me, so me being a follower, <laughs> yeah, I thought, like, not that I need under the jacket, and Mark would be thinking the same thing, but I thought I'd try it, it's the blue oversized short jacket feels really good again I got it in a small and I'll just see what it looks like on oops 
So I can go for that. Um, yep. Did that. I do love this. I saw someone wearing it and it was like done up and it just looked really good, like effortless. And then the final thing I got was a bag for these pen dues. I thought, oh, let me get a bag. I mean, I have had my eye on this one for a while, but I don't know now if I like it. <laughs> actually, I don't actually. Two. Oh, one. Two. Oh, I do actually. Actually, I don't really like this anyway. I thought the strap would be longer as well. Like, it's very short. No, definitely not keen. But I'm glad I got it just to see if I'd like it because I've had my eye on it for a while and um, I can now say... No, I do not like it. So that's good, I suppose. Shall we try some things on? Yes. Shall we try some things on? Right, I'm going to try some stuff on and come back and show you. I'll get Marcus to, like, film me. So this is the lemon dress. So I love the dress, I think. Don't mind the socks and my really nasty grubby legs. But... <laughs> Um, so I don't know, style properly, I think it'd be nice, but it is a little bit big. And I do, I did say to myself, do I size the extra small? And I didn't really know. And now I kind of feel I should have got the extra small, but I do really like it. I think I'm going to just return it and get the extra small because I did have that online. And I do think this is really cute for, I don't know, bottomless brunch and then like for the summertime. So yes, this is a thumbs up. I just need it in a small size. So this is the top that, it got ages ago from Monkey, but I think I've still even got the tag in it. So it's this, it's crochet. So I got the, I've got i got the white vest on underneath and I think it looks all right. I've taken my, my bra off because with the bra it looked weird. But I think again, I needed to get the extra small um, because it just doesn't, it's really nice, it's a little bit gapy and just doesn't sit right. My sizing varies at every shop anyway, but yeah, so I I love this and I do think it works, definitely. I just think I need to get an extra small in both sets, which, oh, actually, oh, they do actually tighten. That might be okay. That didn't make any sense, but I'm going to keep the small because these can tighten, like the, the straps can tighten. I just need it like slightly lifted and that should work. So that's exciting. And then I can now wear this top when, um, in the like, definitely more summertime this top, but it's so cute and I've wanted to wear it for a while, I just haven't had anything to wear underneath it. So that is a yes and I'll be keeping those two tops because also I just think they're really cute, like just to throw on anyway. I think they're quite cute to have. So one is staying, which is good. Now I'm going to try on the, I'll just keep these jeans on, but I'm just going to try on this because this is super cute, so I'll be back. Right, this is like so disappoint disappointing. So don't mind the bra, because I've got a blue bra on, but this would've been so cute if it actually fit. It's, this is a small, and I swear, the smalls, are, are they eight to 10? I thought a small was an eight, but maybe I've got it wrong and they're tens, but I thought the extra smalls were, two, were, were a six. But basically this is such a cute top, but it just not, it does not fit. It's like way too big round the back and like these would need to be pulled up. Then I think it's the style of the top. So even if I get the smaller size, is that even gonna fit? So, sorry, Jeff, it's okay. Um, so that was a bit disappointing else. This would've been really cute, bar the wrong bra that I'm using, but that's such a shame. Um, Marcus is coming, I'll show him, but it's such a shame. I think that's the issue when you order online, you just have to take the risk. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really like this blouse. Um, again, wrong bra on, but it doesn't matter. But I, yeah, I really like it, actually gonna keep this. Um, not just, I just think it also works that we're going into spring and stuff and it's just a little bit lighter. Will work for work as well. And also, yeah, I can wear this with like a nice pair of jeans. I have got jeans on now, but they're all scruffy because Jack always jumped up at me when we were on the walk. And um, yeah, I just think that looks nice. Right, Marcus said, um, I just said to Marcus, I like this blouse. And I know you won't. I love this blouse. Well, every time I get blouses like this, he says, oh, you look like a Tudor. So I don't care. I'm going to channel it and I love it. I think it works. And uh, I like it. Yeah, I do like it. I think it I just looks really it. quite nice. Um, they, they have these in different colours, so I could get different colours. Um, okay, we're squeaking. 
Um, but yeah, this is a stay, which is nice because at the only moment in time, this moment in time, I've only got those little um, under um, vest tops that are an A okay. But now, actually, I might just sling this jacket on with this blouse. Um, this blouse is it is in a small and it does does fit. So it's definitely odd sizing. Oh, this is quite cute. Cute, Sue. Let's just sort myself out, just looking in there. I, again, I couldn't wear it with this blouse, I don't think, but this is cute. Like I've had saw people like have it done up and either way it looks so cute. Love that yeah, you can't not like this jacket. I'm glad I want it in the small, not extra small, because that would have been too tight. I think that's quite cute. Yeah, love that a lot. So that was my little H&M haul. To be honest, it was, I don't know, was it successful? I don't know. So I thought I'd just give you an update on what we've been doing. Well, Marcus is currently, if I just turn you, sorting the bin out. Um, it's a very much a cleaning day, but like a deep clean um we've been going through drawers and rid of things that we don't need or things that you know you just stuff in a drawer and you're like i'll leave that and deal with it at a later time and that time never comes until something forces you to have to deal with it so we're currently doing that um yeah and so we're pretty much nearly done in the living room we've gone i've got a few more cupboards to go through and then we're going to start in the bedroom because we have an overflow of clothes at the moment so we kind of need i need to go through things like again like i've said i'm gonna iron stuff the past i think like the past month i've had the same conversation with my mom every weekend like i need to iron i need to iron and i've i've not touched it um so i really need to do that i want to do a workout after i finish before we go out later we were saying we're hoping it stops raining because i really don't fancy going to like this seaside area with the in the rain because well, I don't know, I don't fancy that, but yeah, there's the clothes situation, it's not that bad, but you can see, I, I don't know what you can see, kind of see, like it's all right, but it's the bottom that's just full of stuff, I just need to go through things, I think, and so we only have a double wardrobe, and then Marcus has drawers, but obviously all Marcus stuff will not fit in drawers, so we've got a bit of a situation there and then we need to go under the bed to look what's under the bed i did recently clean under the bed but i just need to get go through some stuff i've got new stuff from h&m so i need to go through that and like wash some bits um yeah and the bathroom i've got to go through like the drawers and stuff but then the the cupboard of dread which is round here i mean can you even get in? I mean, it's not that bad. It's just coats here and then just stuff. I need to go through our shoes, I think, because that's where most, most of the shoes are. I wouldn't even say we have loads of shoes, but they take up a lot of space, I think. That's my justification anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on doing that. I just wanted to keep you updated. I'll probably check back in once we're done because I just kind of want to just get on with it before it takes up the whole day back so hope the line's okay because i've got the light off this time but i pretty much pull up this i pretty much oh that's really bad there sorted a lot of the flat so i've done the i say a lot i've done the, the living room the bathroom's done pretty the bathroom's pretty good. I mean, I've got the toilet seat up because I've put bleach down there, but it's pretty good in there. Need to do in that cupboard, which is, has to be done. And I just need to sort out the clothing. Jaffa is currently sleeping. No, she's awake. Marcus. Oh, Jaffa. She's so pretty. We're just waiting on what the plan is as well for later because I don't really know what's happening. I'm going to continue cracking on with the flat and once I'm done, I'm sure I will show you. Hello everyone. It is many, many hours later now since I actually picked up the camera. Oh, put these on inside out. And it was just 
a whirlwind of a few hours, wasn't it? Like the last few hours. We, I semi finished the flat. Still got, it's more the clothing situation that I'm gonna have to address. And I'll probably do that tomorrow afternoon. I've got, I'm doing some overtime in the morning of that too. So I've quite a lengthy shift at seven till three. I'm hoping it's so quiet because I could probably get on with my other work. And then hopefully that flies by. Marcus has got baseball from, is it 12 to half two? Yeah. Which is brilliant because then by the time he gets back, I'll be finished and then we can just like have the rest of the day together, which is quite nice. Probably just chill um have dinner and stuff together and obviously back to work monday it was a really good good few hours like we did take fit pictures and i should have done some record videos on my phone but i just i didn't because i had to watch jaffa all the time also sorry about the appearance i've just got home had a shower my hair's up dinner's in the oven it's like 9 p.m as well so we left here at half four and we went to what's it thornby thornby Formby. Yeah, Formby. Form and it's part is it part of the National Trust? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a beach, isn't it? Basically a beach. Yes. It's, isn't it? You just went there. I did. It was it was really good. So there was like this massive steep sandy hill which actually kind of represented like look look a bit like this desert the 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 Yeah, it was weird. And then you get over this get to the top of this hill mountain <laughs> and then there's like up to the beach and the sea and Jaffa absolutely loved it. She's a bit psycho right now, but she absolutely loved every moment of it. So I need to keep changing my hand because it's very heavy, honestly. But the only thing we really noticed today was this puppy has no recall. So when we've previously taken her off the lead, because it it's been i don't know i think that's because there was quite a lot of us weren't there last time we did it in south end it's uh -huh. like six of us so she knew that we were all like in different places so she always yeah, yeah. if she weren't going to run anywhere and don't be don't get me wrong she didn't run off but oh yeah she didn't run away or anything. no but we, was there was that one around. dog that she just wouldn't leave alone like when the dog came past she was like oh i want to be friends and she weren't on the lead and that was quite difficult but i think the key is for us is not to kind of panic and like stay calm and say her name and like when she was eating she, what she was eat, she eating she was eating something what was that some sort of oh moss the, or... and basically yeah that's sponge like sea yeah sponge. it's sea sponge or something and honestly the photos we got of me marcus and our friends darting around trying to catch it like she obviously thought it was a game but i didn't want to eat any of this this stuff because i just i just didn't want to deal with it after so we need to work on sort of her recall and like dropping things that she's not meant to have. But she's a puppy. She's like two and a half months old and she's still learning. But it's just, I think tonight was an eye opener of what we need to work on. Like it was, our friend had the dog um, called Bo. And it was like the, the pictures we got was like, good dog, good dog. And then there's Jaffa <laughs> eating the lead. It was a new lead actually. It weren't our lead. Usually she never bites our lead, but it was our friend's lead because it was an extendable one. So I think she thought, she was like, what is this new thing? And we realized we do want to get her an extendable lead. Are you coming up? No, you're now going to go for this camera. So it's got dangly things. Say hello. Hi everyone. Um, she's honestly, she did so well. Now she's tired, aren't you? She's tired now. So she's going to sit here. She'll sit here now until she'll probably crash. And I'll wake up because I'll be getting dinner. <laughs> but um, it was honestly a great day. We've done so, I feel like I've done so much today. Like we've not been out loads, but I've done a lot in the flat and then we went out for the evening and we, we were gone from half four and then we didn't start, we didn't head back onto the road until about 10 past seven. And then it was an hour journey. But I would honestly do it again. We were saying we'd probably go in the summer when it's um, less windy and we could all have a picnic. Cause that was, it was so much fun. And yeah. So oh, also we literally just booked a like getaway weekend at the Lake District um, with the, with our friends and their daughter and obviously Bo the dog. And it's gonna, I'm just so excited because it's nice to have people in the same sort of situation as you with like a dog and stuff and like to go on walks with them and go on adventures with it. It was just really fun. So I don't know if that makes me sad, but <laughs> it was really fun. Anyway. I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you've all enjoyed it. And I will probably vlog tomorrow because it's the weekend. So I'm trying to get 
as much content as I can. I mean, I am working most of the day, but I'll probably check in. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon. I hope you have a lovely afternoon, day, whatever time it is. Thank you.